So, you know, we are very happy to have launched uh, our new uh, cutting edge technology range of products today. We've launched uh, three devices in partnership with MediaTek, uh, which is the uh, world's leading system on chip uh, semiconductor company. Uh, the three devices that we launched today uh, are hexa core and octa core based devices uh, in terms of chipsets. Uh, the kind of hardware configuration that we are looking at with these devices uh, is uh, definitely you know one of the best in the industry. Uh, we've launched uh, one hexa core device and two octa core devices called hexa octane and octane plus respectively and uh, they are going to be available at very attractive price points. The Hexaco device is going to be at around uh, 16,990. Uh, Octane is going to be around 14,490. And uh, Octane Plus is going to be around 18,990. So, uh, you know, with the kind of specifications in terms of uh, uh, full HD screen, uh, 16 megapixel camera, uh, you know, these, these are some of the best hardware configurations. Very interestingly, uh, all these devices are going to be running on the latest uh, operating system from Google, which is Android KitKat. And with that, uh, Carbon has become the first company to be able to offer KitKat across the high-end devices, uh, you know, from any other uh, you know, Indian manufacturer. What are some of your plans uh, regarding the manufacturing? Uh, well, we are, uh, you know, extremely keen uh, to support manufacturing in India and we have said that uh, you know, at several occasions uh, about our intent to invest in manufacturing in India. Uh, however, uh, our plea to the government and the relevant uh, industry stakeholders is to create the right kind of ecosystem of uh, parts and components which can enable a smooth running of the manufacturing operations in the country. Uh, once uh, we can get a positive support uh, in that direction, uh, we are already geared up to make the necessary investments uh, for setting up manufacturing plants in India. So consolidation is happening in the smartphone industry. For instance, uh, Lenovo will be part of, uh, sorry, Motorola will be part of Lenovo, Nokia will be part of, uh, you know, uh, Microsoft. So is there any plan in yours, from your side? You know, I think in the Indian market, uh, we are going to see consolidation, but that consolidation is already happening by the way of exit, not so much by the way of acquisitions. So, uh, you know, if you look at uh, the top three players, which includes, uh, you know, at least two Indian brands and, uh, you know, one of them is obviously ours, uh, there's already about a 60 to 65% of the market that has been cornered. Uh, so I think that, uh, you know, there is a very clear preference that the consumer is showing in terms of established Indian brands and some of the established multinational brands. And uh, we are very happy that, uh, you know, we have been able to demonstrate not just an year-on-year, -year, but a consistent year-on-year -year and also a quarter-on-quarter -quarter growth uh, from our inception in 2009. Can you share some of your new strategies for the current year? Well, the strategies in terms of product is what uh, we've already revealed today, which is looking at uh, bringing in the cutting-edge hardware technology and also the latest software technology in the realm of smartphones into the country. Uh, it is also going to be beefed up very strongly by our branding initiatives which have been very well received by the consumers whether it has been in terms of uh, cricket or Bollywood or our engagement with Indian youth uh, and we will continue to do that. Uh, we have created one of the most uh, robust uh, after sale service networks in the country. Uh, we cover almost 90% of the districts in the country through our distribution and service network. And I think uh, that these initiatives are going to help us to keep our position strong and keep our market share, market share growing to about 20% uh, in the next uh, financial year in the smartphones category. Any plan to you know improve the service centers, the numbers? Uh, we already have about 870 plus service centers, out of which about uh, 100 service centers are on exclusive basis. Uh, you know, so of course, uh, you know, uh, on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis, we will keep on increasing the service uh, you know centers network uh, because as the population of uh, carbon mobile phones keeps growing, 
uh, which is currently at about 2.3 to 2.5 million carbon mobile phones being sold every month uh, it naturally makes sense to increase uh, the presence of our service networks as well any plan on the wearable you know devices well the way we see the wearable devices currently is more in terms of adoption uh, you know as an accessory and not really a need to have device so we are also planning on a couple of uh, you know, smart devices uh, in the wearable uh, category and uh, we will keep a close tab uh, in terms of uh, how the adaptability of these devices is happening in some of the developed parts of the world and if we do see a very clear trend where you know a consumer genuinely feeds uh, you know a, a need and a reason to start adopting this these wearable uh, you know smart devices in a greater way then you know you are going to see you are going to see carbon also being present over there uh, last question sir any update on your 4g smartphones uh, well we are looking at uh, bringing in 4g devices in the second half of this year uh, you know our partnership with mediatek is also going to extend uh, uh, you know in in that technology sphere as well uh, so you can expect uh, you know a carbon lte devices coming in in the third quarter or the fourth quarter of 2014